Hello Internet, Parag Dhawan here. In this video, we will see how to append two data frames. So in the first cell, we are importing NumPy as NP and Panda as SPD. We are creating two data frame DF1 using pd.dataframe function. It is containing two rows and each row contains two elements from its two columns. So column labels are A and B for the first data frame. We are creating data frame two which is a list of list using pt.dataframe function, which contains two rows and number of elements are two in each row. Therefore, columns are two with the column label of A and B. So when you create the data frame and print the data frame on the user screen, you can see row label are zero one, column label are A and B. If you print data frame two on the user screen, row label R01, column label R A and B. Using data frames append function, we are appending data frame two to data frame one. It will be appended row wise vertically and it is stored in a new data frame called as data frame three. When you print the data frame on the user screen, you can see column label R A and B. For the first data frame elements were one, two, three, four. For the second data frame elements were five, six, seven, eight. Now, the row label of first data frame was zero and one. The row label for second data frame was zero and one. For the new data frame, this can, the row label are incorrect. So to avoid this, we can, while appending, we can pass a keyword argument, ignore index is equal to true. So we are appending data frame to data frame two and to ignore the indexing of rows. So if indexing of rows are ignored, indexing will start from zero. Subsequently, it will go for the last row. Click on the cell and run the cell. You have created data frame four containing column label A and B and row label which were ignored and new row label which were added as zero, one, two, and three. That's it for this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Do hit the subscribe button for more such technical content. See you in the next video.